All right, a quick disclaimer. I did not come up with this recipe for the Jack Daniel glaze. I got this from All Recipes, and I think it is a knockoff of the TGI Friday uh, Jack Daniel glaze. Just want to make sure I give credit where credit's due. Hey, welcome back to my channel, Just Doing Great Things. Today, the star of the show is a Jack Daniel glaze. And that Jack Daniel glaze is going to be put on uh, shish kebabs. Uh, I'm a big fan of TGI Fridays. Some people aren't, but I am. And when I've gone there, I've got some of the uh, Jack Daniel steaks. I've got some of the ribs. And uh, I've always enjoyed it. The, the glaze is always really good. So I thought, how about I try it myself? And I looked on the internet. All Recipes has a great um, a copycat recipe of the TGI Friday Jack Daniel glaze. And so I pulled it up and, uh, and we're going to make that glaze and we're going to put it on shish kebabs because I've never seen that done. So let's, uh, let's give it a shot. I hope you enjoy this and, uh, you know, always be looking for trying something different, trying something new. Uh, if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, that's okay. We at least tried. So enjoy. All right. For this recipe, I used uh, sirloin strips that I cubed up with some bell peppers, red and green bell peppers, some, a Vidalia onion and, uh, some mushrooms and that's what's going to be on the shish kebabs for the jack daniel glaze you're going to need two teaspoons of garlic one and a third cups dark brown sugar one cup pineapple juice two thirds cup water one quarter cup teriyaki sauce one tablespoon of soy sauce two tablespoons of lemon juice three tablespoons of minced onion one tablespoon of jack daniel's black label one tablespoon of crushed pineapple and one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper if you choose to do so. I didn't today because some people don't like hot. All right, we're gonna start putting together this glaze. The first thing we're gonna go with is the brown sugar. The pineapple juice. The water. The teriyaki sauce. And the soy sauce. We're going to mix this together and bring to a boil. Alright, before I forget, I would highly recommend using a pot that is much bigger than what you're going to need because this will boil over if you turn away from it for a second. So just keep that in mind. I wish I would have used a bigger pot because it did boil over. I'm going to put in the garlic. The lemon juice, the pineapple, the Jack Daniels. Don't forget the Jack Daniels. the white onion, and then the cayenne pepper. And get it boiling again. Bring it to a simmer. You want to cook this until the volume of liquid is reduced by about a half. It'll take 40 to 50 minutes. Uh, once again, watch it close because it's going to boil over if you don't. 
One thing I will tell you, this will thicken up once you take it off the heat. Uh, it'll get, uh, it'll suddenly get thicker. So don't be discouraged if it doesn't seem like it's thickening up. All right, for this cook, I used these uh, metal skewers that I had, and uh, I'm going to alternate uh, bell peppers, onions, uh, the meat, mushrooms um, on the first one. Uh, the second one I did a little bit different because I don't like mushrooms, but I do like the flavor of the bell peppers and the onions, uh, so I did it differently. Uh, each one of these skewers, I, I just kind of put it together according to what some of the people in the house uh, like on theirs. Um, and then at the very end, I had a bunch of the meat, and so I'm going to have a couple of skewers uh, that has nothing but... Uh, but meat on them. Now, um, at the end, I will uh, put a glaze on these, the Jack Daniel glaze, and then it should be ready to eat. I didn't do a very good job on this video showing, uh, you know, me putting these items on the skewers, but I think you can probably tell uh, by what you're seeing what I'm doing. Um, so, my apologies. It's kind of an uh, assembly line process. And here they are, all put together, ready to go onto the grill. For this cook, I'm going to use my Vision Grill. I've already put a couple of skewers that need to be well done on there and an extra steak I had. So uh, they're already on the grill. Now I'm going to add the ones that I just did. And uh, we're going to get it on there and get it to cooking. All right, these have uh, just about got done. Uh, it's the very, very final end of this, uh, the, the cook. Now it's time to put the glaze on here. And uh, we're going to put it on there with a brush, nice and thick. I'm sorry that uh, my pot is right there in y'all's way. But I'm going to put it on this side, and then I'm going to flip it over and uh, put it on the other. I'm just doing this one so that y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, of course, we did the rest also. All right, this is uh, what it looks like when it's done. You're going to be really thankful that you made a a full recipe of the glaze because now that glaze becomes a dipping sauce. As you eat these, you can dip your uh, different pieces into that glaze and it's absolutely fantastic. I hope you try this and uh, try it on more than just steak because it's great on ribs too. Enjoy!